hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am sharing how i made this 420 bonnet stay tuned this is exciting okay i'm using a different technique this time so i'm using my stencil that's available at beautiful bonnet base at etsy dot um com yeah so go ahead and get you one that way you don't have to print out the paper but anyway i'm putting that i folded my fabric and if you want to know how i fold it check out a couple of my other videos now i use this and then my satin i already had it pre-cut and that i'm going to use the shiny side facing the good side of the other fabric so it's two the two good sides facing and then i'm going to use my wonder clips and start clipping around and i'm going to leave a space and i'm going to take it and stitch it um at my machine but i'm going to leave that opening uh so i can turn it inside out later um as you can see i backstitch i do a straight stitch all the way around and that's my opening and what i want to do here is start cutting some snips around it so when it's time to turn it inside out it can lay flat if i decide to press it or if i don't so with this particular one i did not press it however i did take my um lint roller because when you're dealing with the cotton sometimes they can you know attract a lot of lint but anyway i use my clips to um lay all the edges down because this is a step I take personally, you know, before I go do my top stitching. And, yeah. So, I just go around the whole perimeter. That way I don't have to worry about it shifting. And I kind of, um, you know, pinch it out, if that makes sense. Like sandwiching the um, two fabrics together as far as I can by pulling it out at the edge. Yeah. So I do a zigzag stitch and I leave the opening where my hole is. That's going to be my first stitch, okay? And then I go around and again, I leave that open. And then I go do a second stitch, as you can see I did. And I don't have to leave that one open. Now, for my elastic, I like to cut between 18 and 20 inches depending on the size if I'm making it for a child infant or an adult and I take one end and pin it to the side and the other one I looped around my um tool that I'm using in you know, my elastic tool and I just shimmy it around you know taking my time go all the way around and once I get it to the other end I go ahead and um overlap <laughs> my elastic pieces and again like I said I overlap mine um, when I use the cotton I like to overlap it at least about one and a half inches that way I can make sure the um, elastic um, make sure it fits um, a little bit more snug because of the stiffness of the fabric as you can see I'm going to go with a zigzag close that part out and then I'm going to do fold these inward the little fray pieces or whatever the edges and turn them inward and clip them and then I'm going to do a straight stitch across there and that's going to close it out and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please uh, like share subscribe and don't forget to check out my Etsy page where I have uh, bonnet patterns, I have bonnets that I created, and so much more. All right.